Hey there everyone, it's Ryan with Frontline Animal Removal. Today I want to show you how weather affects critter catching. Uh, we don't usually talk about the weather too much, but I want to show you how it affects. And so let's take a look at my truck. Raccoon there, raccoon there, raccoon there, and raccoon there. Yeah, we got some squirrels right there. So those raccoons were at, well, four different places with problems. And for the last three or four days, I had no activity. Nothing was happening. And I kind of expected that because we had bitterly cold temperatures. It was in the teens at night and the 20s in the daytime. Um, it was just miserable out. Raccoons don't like cold weather. They hunker down and don't move. In fact, this raccoon here is in a chimney trap. Four days ago when I examined the house, I spotted the raccoon in the chimney. I put the chimney trap in place and it sat at the bottom of the chimney because it was cold out. Now the weather forecast yesterday was cold during the day, but in the evening it was going to warm up and rain overnight. Rain makes raccoons move. Warm rainy nights really make raccoons move. And what do you know? After four or five days of not catching any raccoons, I catch one, two, three, and four. So raccoons respond to weather fronts. They run hard. Whenever we have this damp weather, when it's all damp out, yucky, the raccoons move. And when it's January and I'm, it's warm enough, I don't need to wear a hat, I'm just in a hoodie, the raccoons run hard. So, this is what happens this time of the year. Raccoons are stuck in the house. When it's cold, it warms up, I catch them. So if you're getting frustrated uh, about me not catching the raccoon, well, I am too, because it's too stinking cold for the raccoons to move. But as soon as it warms up, they run. Now the squirrels, on the other hand, they don't seem to care what the temperature is. They move all the time. So even when it's negative 20 out, we'll catch a squirrel or two. Thank you.